Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To animate a slide object in a PowerPoint presentation, click the object in the slide to which to apply animation to select it. Then click the Animations tab in the ribbon. Then click the Animation effect to apply to the selected object from the animation shown in the scrollable list in the Animation button group. To scroll through the animation effects, click the arrows at the right end of the scrollable list. Alternatively, to show all the animation effects in a drop-down menu from which you can click to select, click the More drop-down button in the lower right corner of the scrollable list. The animation effects in this drop-down menu are organized by Animation Effect category. After you click to select an animation effect in either location, you apply the animation effect to the selected slide object and the animation effects sequence number in the slide appears next to the selected slide object. The animation effect sequence order starts with 1 and increases sequentially to indicate its animation order in the slide. To then set any effect options for the animation if available, click the Effect Options button in the Animation button group and select your desired choice. To add an additional animation to a selected slide object in PowerPoint, click the Add Animation drop-down button in the Advanced Animation button group to show the same drop-down menu of animation choices. Then click to select an animation choice. The selected animation is then applied as another separate animation in the slide animation sequence. To select a slide object animation to change it, click its desired slide animation sequence number. The selected animation sequence number appears highlighted orange in the slide to show it is selected. Then click to select a different animation effect or change the animation settings as needed. Note that the animations that appear in the scrollable list of animations in the Animation button group or in the drop-down menus are not the only animations available in PowerPoint. To show all animation effects within a specific animation effect category to apply, either click the More drop-down button in the lower right corner of the scrollable list in the Animations button group, or click the Add Animation button in the Advanced Animations button group. In either drop-down menu that then appears, click the More Animation Category Effects command at the bottom of the menu for the desired animation effect category to apply to open a separate dialog box that shows all the available animation effects for that category. To preview the animation effect on the slide object before applying it, Ensure the Preview Effect checkbox at the bottom of the dialog box is checked. Then click any animation effect in the dialog box to preview it in the slide window. After selecting the desired animation effect to apply, click the OK button in this dialog box. To set any effect options for the animation if available, then click the Effect Options button in the Animation button group and select your desired choice. To view the advanced animation settings for slide objects, click the Animation Pane button in the Advanced Animation button group on the Animations tab of the ribbon to show the animation pane at the right side of the window. This pane shows all slide object animations in the list sorted by animation sequence number. If you click an animation effect in this list, its corresponding animation sequence number in the slide turns orange so you can tell which slide object animation is selected. To set an optional animation trigger for a selected animation, which is a special animation start condition associated with the mouse click of a specific slide object or with the bookmark, select a choice from the Trigger drop-down button in the Advanced Animation button group on the Animations tab of the ribbon. To choose when to start a selected animation, select a choice from the Start drop-down in the Timing button group on the Animations tab of the ribbon. You can select either the On Click, With Previous, or After Previous choice. 
To set the selected animation's duration, use the Duration Spinner box in the Timing button group. To set the amount of delay to occur before playing the selected animation, use the Delay Spinner box in the Timing button group. To change the order in which the animated effects occur, select the effect that is in the incorrect order in the animation pane. Then click the Move Earlier and Move Later arrow buttons in the Timing button group as needed to change the order of the slide animations. To see all the available animation options for a selected animation effect in the animation pane, click the drop-down arrow at the right end of the selected animation effect. In the drop-down menu of options that appears, select the Effect Options command to open a separate dialog box of options you can set for the effect. The options often appear on two or three tabs called Effect, Timing, and optionally Text Animation. Click each tab to view the effect options and change any settings as needed. The options vary depending on the type of slide object selected and the type of animation effect applied. After reviewing and changing the settings for the selected animation, click the OK button in the dialog box to apply the new settings. To delete a selected animation effect, click to select it in the list of animation effects in the animation pane. Then click the drop down arrow at the right end of the selected animation effect. From the drop down menu, select the Remove command to delete the animation. To play the entire slide animation sequence, click into the blank area in the animation pane to deselect all animations. Then click the Play All button at the top of the animation pane. Alternatively, to play the slide object animation starting from a selected animation, click to select the animation from which to start in the animation pane. Then click the Play From button at the top of the animation pane. Alternatively, to preview the slide's object animation, click the Preview button in the Preview button group on the Animations tab of the ribbon. Optionally, to turn off the animation preview in the slide, click the drop-down part of the Preview button. Then select the Auto Preview command in the drop-down menu that appears to remove the check from the command. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.